today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon lighthouse. Hey, and welcome to my next lesson. And I'm John Mark, and I'm going to be teaching you how to sketch and draw better. Well, today's lesson is going to be drawing this lighthouse. And on one of my other videos, I shared how I just come randomly in my thoughts and there's no model sheets or visual uh, referencing. And that's what we're doing again right now. I'm just using 100% my imagination, which is a good thing from time to time. So let's begin this lesson and watch as I'm drawing and uh, some tips and techniques on sketching and how to be a better artist uh, while sketching. And I want to take a note again, please do not use a Sharpie pen when sketching. That is not the right way of learning to draw. Draw with a typical pencil or mechanical pencil, and as such as I am, is the proper way of becoming a better artist. So as you see in my sketches, they're very loose and very light. And then from there, I'll follow back up with uh, possible dark sketches. And this, again, is just a thumbnail. And I would finish it by taking it to a light box or onto my animation table or on my uh, Syncteak uh, Wacom Stylus pen uh, tablet, which I'm working off of right now. I'm working on my computer. So I'm just randomly just creatively thinking how this lighthouse is working and flowing around. So at any time you want to hit pause and look at the details, that's fine. References are not a bad thing, but again, this one, I'm just using my creative juices and just thinking how it may actually look and play up, which is a good thing again. All right, so I'm just trying to lay out maybe having like a little dock right at that front door. That's what I was trying to figure out and making it a little bit darker now. There we go. And let's get that little side there a little bit more. Okay, let's get the roof there. I'm not going to finish this totally. This is just going to be just at the time frame that I like to I'll work with between four to eight minutes to teach you. And then on other lessons, I will take this one and uh, do a nice tight uh, finish version and color it in Photoshop as well. You can even take this one and print it out and use your color pencils. So I'm just going to create some little elements to kind of look like wood grain on that door and just shading in some of the dock right now. Those are little rocks that I'm creating on the far side there. Yeah, there we go. And he's like a lone island all by himself. All right, let's get that little roof there. A little shade underneath there. That's okay. Let's create a little window here. Simple structure. This is not used in traditional perspective. This is all by visual, just by my eye. So some things could be off, but it's just a style, a stylized version. All right, now you can see a little, let's add another stone there and here. Add another one in the back. There you go. And let's add some, another big one right in the middle there. I like that spot. That looks good. Another one on the side. There you go just sketching it out and randomly doing and at times what I've done on my other sketching pads or paper I randomly choose an object such as like rocks and draw a variety of different shapes and uh, style of them and then if I need referencing I go back to my my model sheets and play up with that let's add a little boat a little sailboat in the far distance there that looks kind of good I like that it's showing the depth so you see the lighthouse in the front a little further back is this little sailboat and then you can even add like clouds in the distance and then sun or birds to give that multiple depth to give that uh, the, the viewer some more depth into the, your picture. Let's work on that stone there a little bit more there. Another one a bit more detail on there. There that's looking good a little darker. I'm liking this one. Let's look if the flare out that base and over here so that tower so what you can do here now is this just watching me with my thumbnail i may come back and add some windows in that lighthouse or maybe like like bars all the way around there where it's open instead of being solid and um i might add different shingles on the top i might add a flag on there uh, or somebody looking outside uh, this case is just a nice random uh, background design that i'm working on right now Let's just give some lines for like, there we go. Okay, that's looking good. 
okay what else do i see over here let's shade this in a little go wider 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 narrower narrower so it gives that little depth and that's a little make those little color bars a little bit darker that's the neat thing i like lighthouses they're all different shapes and sizes and uh there we go i like that one a little darker there as well it's looking good finishing this one up over here equaling it all out all right let's give a little cast shadow from underneath there there we go let's do our little speed line do a little x left and right all right so yeah let's put some clouds in here now to get that distance going there you go see so you can hide them behind your object in this case a lighthouse looks good all right so as always let's sign and date and i really want to say thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe and check out some of our other ones have a great day